that you have to look after yourself all the time. You're responsible for your action. That you have this mind and you got your desires and you can use your mind and you can use your, de your desires are like chariots to your, to your uh, carriage and they're pulling you. And you can accomplish this and you can accomplish that and, and you want this and you want that and you don't want this and you don't want that. So everything, it indicates and reinforce, fortifies the this part of you that you are a separated entity and bewildered lost and in this separation it comes all these emotional stuff and since we have not had any zero training in this area so we keep growing up and we're becoming adults. We're in a society, a community, a system that blinds, blind man is leading other blinds. So you have nothing to compare anything to. It's a system that it fails and it keeps failing over and over again. And it does not produce enlightened people. It doesn't produce Buddhas. It produces needy people. It produces damaged products. And you look around and everything else looks the same. So you don't doubt it. You just kind of roll with it. But for a very small p uh, number of human beings or the slaves or the particles of this system or the characters in this system something triggers in and there is a calling it comes deep from a part of you that knows and that part of you is your multidimensional being the part that resides in your in fifth dimension you may call it your intuitive knowing, your higher self. You may say, okay, I'm channeling uh, by entities, beings from other planets or other dimensions or saints or my grandfather or whatever, or my guru, my teacher is channeling through me. But it's basically you're deriving your information from this other part of you that simultaneously it's a multidimensional being so it's residing in all dimensions as it is here but your awareness your consciousness is very focused on this one so this has become your reality now this one is deeply involved with basic stuff and hasn't learned how to rise above it. Its biggest hang up is good and bad. So it lives its life based on what's good and what's bad, what I, what I like, what I don't like, what's right, right, what's wrong. So it hasn't been able to rises above what's right and what's wrong. So it's stuck there. And because its perspective is about right and wrong, naturally it has to suffer. It goes through a lot of disappointments because it, it, it comes to contact with what's wrong and doesn't like it. But when the mind starts to, to lose its grip and it starts to open, in this opening, an expansion starts to take place. And gradually, 
we begin to get glimpses of our fifth dimensional self. Now, whether you're in deep meditation, you're in deep meditation and you disappear. Your idea of who you are disappears. Your mind goes into silence and your mind goes to silence, you're still alive, you're still here, you still have a body, but you're not identifying with it. There's no identification with it in that period of time. Let's say half an hour, one hour of deep meditation. You may say, I was in a state of samadhi. I was gone. I was one with God. That period of time is when the mind quiets down and the mind is not in between. So everything, the clouds go away. It's like you're here, you're trying to look at this, you're looking into the sky and it's full of clouds. So you can't look at the sun. You can't see the blue sky, but now the mind goes, the clouds go away and all of a sudden you're just staring at sunshine, sun shining and the blue sky. You can see the everything. You say, wow, the clouds are gone. And now it's clarity, clarity is there. You can see it. And the same thing here. The mind goes away means your story too, your struggles, your problems, the world, what's going to happen, what's going to happen to me, what happened to me before, blah, blah, blah. Everything is gone. And now there's nothing in between. It's just unity. And that must have happened to you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. None of us would be here interested in this conversation. You would be doing what your sister is doing. You would be doing what your friend, your, your mom doing or your best friend doing. A lot of the people you know who have no interest in this, you would be one of them. You would be doing that. Zero interest in this. But you're interested in this. Something's pulling you. Something has got you. And now you can't imagine life without this. Because the other one you find it empty and this one it's fire. It's the fire in your heart. It's burning. And you can't wait for more. Because it's juicy. It's your life force. It's really giving you hope and wanting to live and wanting to go deeper. by getting glimpses and touching it connects it connects what does it connect yes you're getting glimpses of your fifth dimensional self you're getting you're getting contacts of it and however short period of time that connection may be but it's strong enough and juicy, that pulls the trigger and you fancy it. And it vibrates. It's like a powerful vibrator is like, you don't know, wow, you know, it's 